In this tutorial, we're gonna go through an example workflow of welcoming your new customers. And so you're gonna see some ways and some specifics on how you could do that and what types of elements and properties you would need to do that. And so to get us started off, we're gonna actually use this uh, condition of subscription. So I'm just dragging and dropping the subscribed via condition over into the workspace here. And now I wanna specify which subscription method that I want to actually trigger the beginning of this workflow. And so with this, with this particular element selected, I'm gonna move over to properties and I want to specify which form it was that people signed up for on my website to be able to start this workflow. And of course you can choose different subscription methods to actually start a workflow if you want, like an API or landing page or a contact import. But I'm gonna use a form and then I want to specify it to be this particular form that I have on my website. So from the time that I publish and turn this workflow on, anyone that signs up via the subscription method is gonna be going into this workflow that we're creating. And so immediately when someone signs up, I want them to get a welcome message. And so I'm gonna move over the action send message and connect it to this condition that we started with. And so again, with the send message action selected, I'm going back over to properties and I'm gonna choose the proper message, which is going to be my welcome email. And so when someone signs up, of course, they're gonna get my welcome email. But now is where I wanna start really tracking and seeing how people are engaging with my, with my message. And also I want to say that within this welcome email, we've actually provided two links in the message that would actually uh, dictate, once chosen, how often the subscribers would receive updates from us. So the first link that we've included in the welcome email is to receive updates from us once a week. And the second link is to receive updates from us every two weeks. And so of course, we're gonna want to know who clicked what link, and then of course, send them a message at the right schedule. And so I've just moved over, moved over this link clicked uh, condition here, and I wanna connect it to my welcome email. But of course, I wanna specify which link in particular first. So we're gonna start with that first link, which is to receive messages from us once a week. And so I need to specify which link in particular. And now just pretend with me that facebook.com is actually linking to a page that we had set up indicating for once a week contact. So you can just bear with me there. And then something else to look at just below where you've chosen the link is for how long do you want to wait for an action? You want to always select for some time. You want to select for some time because that actually gives a time limit for how long we're gonna wait for after someone gets your message for them to click. And so we've done some research and we see that basically a day, you know, within a day and 12 hours and 30 minutes that someone receives your message, you know, 99% of the people who are going to click will have already clicked. If you click for, if you choose forever, we're just gonna be waiting forever for someone to not click, right? And so we can be waiting forever because someone could not click for forever. And so you always basically, whenever you are uh, doing a condition like this, like was a message opened or was a specific link clicked, uh, you want to give some time. And so for a specific link in the message, you could of course make it three days, four days that we'll wait uh, to see if someone will click. But a good idea, like we said, is this kind of default one that we've done some research to see that most people who will click, will click or open within this amount of time. So I just wanna just call this to your attention specifically whenever you're you know, choosing the link, uh, link clicked or message opened condition, you do want to specify for some time specifically. Okay, so with that out of the way, we've got that condition set up. And so now we can say, if someone did click this first link, which is for every seven days, which is this little green, of course, meaning yes, then we of course want to wait. So I'm gonna move over the delay filter, connect it to the yes connector of the link was clicked, this first specific link. And with this delay filter chosen, I'm going back over to properties and I'm going to wait for seven days. Now again, I'm gonna leave this all as it is for the default, but you are free to uh, customize that as you would wish. But now, this means that after they click the first link, we're gonna wait for seven days, and then automatically we're gonna send them a message. So I drug over the action sent message, connected it with the connectors to the delay filter, and again, with this particular action selected, going back to properties, and I want to choose the message I have created once a week, please. 
And I should just mention that for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to operate under the assumption that you already have these uh, web forms and these different messages already created. It's a good idea to go ahead and have these assets created whenever you're creating your workflow because it's just a lot easier. You can see that we're able to go ahead and automatically choose and connect the particular form or send the messages that we want to. Of course, if you don't want to work like this, it's not a problem. You could go ahead and set up the bones, so to speak, of your workflow, and then just choose save and exit, and go ahead and then go and create the particular form that you're wanting to include in your different messages, and then just come back to the workflow, add those in in the properties for each of those particular elements, and then click save and publish when you're done. But for our tutorials here, we're gonna just operate under the assumption that they're already created. Okay, so with yet another disclaimer behind us, we'll move on. And so we've just finished the series here that if someone clicked link one, we wait for a week, and then we send them their message. But of course, there was a second link in that message, which is, do you wanna receive updates from us every two weeks? And so I need to check if they have clicked that link. And so I need to add the condition, link clicked again, and I need to connect it to the no for the first specific link condition here. And so this is gonna be for our second link. So with it selected again, I'm going back to properties to choose that specific link. And bearing with me again that twitter.com is actually linking to our every two week page that we had set up. And again, don't forget for how long do you want to wait? We just wanna wait for about a day and a half here. We wanna just wait for a little bit to see if someone actually clicked that link. And so we could now assume that if someone did click that link, yet again, we're gonna move over the delay filter, connect it to the yes connector here for the second link, go back to properties and change it to 14 days, two weeks. So we're gonna wait for two weeks as per their request and then send them their message. So moving over the another send mes message action, connecting it to the delay filter, back over to properties and send the message twice a month is enough. So they are gonna get their bi-weekly updates this way. And finally, we do not wanna forget those people who did not click either of these links. So we wanna send them a little reminder. So I'm gonna move over one more delay so I just want to wait like a day. So waiting a day between them not clicking either of the links, then I'm going to send these people a message, dragging it over yet again, connecting the dots, back to properties, and send them our reminder. And so just as easy as that, you can see that we have been able to welcome our new subscribers, send them a message, and actually track which links they're cl clicking, and then be able to specify their mailing schedule based on how they're clicking and interacting with our message. This is a really great way to start welcoming those new customers, those new subscribers, listening to them, and then providing uh, you know the content when they've requested it. And so this looks good. We've created the workflow as we would like. And so again, remember I said you could save and exit, but in this case, we would just click save and publish. And then this workflow would be on. And as soon as someone signs up via this web form on my site, they would then start to go through this process based on their behavior.